thoughts again. Uh, I can't quite make up my mind on this amp. Um, kind of fickle. Sometimes I'm really digging it, sometimes I don't. One of the things that it does that perplexes me is that it uh, really compresses pretty hard under certain notes, even with low volume. Um, I'm not sure if that's bad, but anyway. I do like the versatility of it, um, like I was saying, uh, or maybe I didn't say it, but. Uh, do this all over again. With this, I don't know if you can see the lights switching. I can control, well, it helps if I'm on the right bank. There we go. Well, oh, come on. There we go. Let's see, green, red, green. That shouldn't be on that one. I'm on the wrong bank again. Ah, all right, here we go. Green, red, green, red. And then we'll notice the master changes on this one because the clean channel, when you switch between the modes on the clean channel, obviously the gain, the higher, the crunch setting is louder. So one of the useful things is to switch to a different master and you can level out the, the clean channel with the, the crunch. Really cool feature. So I really like this aspect of it, that it's, uh, you can control it via MIDI. I don't know how reliable one of these amps will be in the long run. Uh, if you look at the gut shots of it, it is made as cheaply as possible. Um, and that is, to be honest, is something that kind of eats at me. Um, but it sounds all right. Doesn't sound as good as that, but you know, what, what do you expect? That's hand wired and it's hand modified. And uh, I guess that's redundant. All modifications are probably done by hand. Anyway, I have not had a chance to try it in a, in a live situation. Uh, it mics up honestly better than it sounds in the room, um, which is strange. It's usually the other way around for me. I usually have to spend a lot of time placing the mic and tweaking the EQ to get the same kind of sound that I hear on stage or in front of the amp through the speakers, uh, but it actually records better than it sounds in the room. I'm, you might not be able to tell from the video my facial expressions, but they weren't usually expressions of joy. I just I thought it sounded kind of just, yeah. But you can be the judge. I mean, uh, it, it, again, it may uh, it may do real well in a mix in a live situation. It's plenty loud. There's no doubt about that. And it doesn't fall apart uh, like low wattage amps do. And it's 40 watts, so it's not. Uh, you really don't need much more than that. Maybe if you're playing clean. But uh, I've played lots of big stages. I'm not trying to brag, but I played stages where I've had the freedom to turn it up pretty loud. And I've never turned that Marshall up more than halfway. And it was, it was loud. And, you know, this is where it's normally sitting. So I think in most of my gigs, I play just somewhere between one and one and a half on the volume. Granted, I play with in-ears, so I don't need uh, necessarily to be loud enough to, to hear it uh, the way traditional players would need. Plus I'm on the side of my bass player and if I didn't use in-ears we would just have a constant volume battle and since he does not play with in-ears it's just easier for me to set it loud enough that the, the uh, guitar will interact with it and I can get feedback and you know we're not having a battle of, of volume and then I can hear it in my ear and I can move around anywhere on stage and always hear my guitar. And so real uh, 
you know, benefit of having in ears is is that obviously. So, but that's my review. Um, I hope you liked it. Anyway, um, I hope that I, you know, I was I did the amp justice, and you can decide whether or not that's a tone you like. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm. My, if you've noticed throughout my videos, there's always a different amp. And uh, it's not because I'm just trying to make videos and, you know, uh, exploit the generosity of the returns. Uh, I genuinely want to find a backup. Looks like I'm a lot closer, but I'm not. I want to find a backup for this because it's old and it has gone down on me before. Um, and so I need... And uh, you know, when we play out of state, or you know, just any time I play, I need to have something that I can continue the show with if it you know, if something fails on it. Granted, I've had it for about ten years, and it's only left me uh, high and dry twice. And uh, anyway, so it's not really. I mean, I'm probably just using that as a justification for gas gear acquisition syndrome but anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think i'm enjoying all the feedback that i'm getting uh you know 99.9 percent .9 of you guys are great every once in a while i get somebody that's like hating on marshall and les paul's and overpriced amps and to each his own but uh you know my mom always said if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all so there's always that all right, thanks for watching.